All right, so this is the next progression of the level three workout, right? And so now in this exercise, like we did it before, just review, you wanna make sure you go through the three rounds of exercises, you rest and go through the three rounds again and rest and then go to the next round, okay? And so the first exercise of this is a quarter rotational squat with a chop up. Again, you're gonna take the band, you're gonna hook it on the bottom of the door frame and shut the door. And you're gonna stand like this and you're gonna stay in this quarter squat like this, right? So you're gonna stay here. You're gonna brace your core and your trunk, which is shoulder blades back, stomach in, and you bear down, right? When you bear down, if, you know, it's almost like you're pretending like someone's about to punch you. Once you have that bracing down, it's called trunk bracing, that will uh, stabilize your spine. So you're gonna grab the bands like this, you're gonna stay in this quarter squat and you're gonna chop up and down. If you notice, the distance is only from the, the hip, the inside hip, to the front of the outside shoulder, right? So I'm gonna stop here and just go like this, right? Because if you go too far, your body's going to twist and we do not want the twist uh, in this level of movement. And so you're going to exhale on the way up because that's when you exert, you always um, exhale on exertion. So you would exhale and inhale on the way down. And exhale, right? So you would do this for, again, the uh, dedicated number of repetitions based on the program and which week you're in. And inhale. And in this one, you want to do the other side, of course. So you would turn around and exhale and inhale. All right, so you would do both sides, and that's the first exercise. The next exercise are push ups, right? Again, based on your strength level, you can either do the floor, or you can use a chair, or you can even use a table, which would be higher. The higher the surface that you plank on to do the push up, the easier it will be. Right, so I'm just going to demonstrate with a chair, right? You want to brace your trunk, make sure your back is straight. You don't want, you know, a lot of people kind of do push-ups like this. You want your body to be straight and your lower back, if you notice my lower back has a slight arch to it, you don't want to round your lower back like this. You keep that natural arch. And you want to inhale on the way down and exhale on the way up. Because when you uh, push up, that's when you actually exert. So you would exhale on the way up. All right, again, if you're strong enough to do that on the floor, you would do it on the floor, and that's dictated by the number of reps in the specified intensity level for that week. Okay, so that's the second exercise. And the third one is the quarter lunge and row. Okay, so you would take the band from the door frame on the bottom, put it into the middle of the door, and shut the door and anchor it towards at the middle height. And so now you were, so the, the first couple weeks that you did this exercise, you could have just, you had your knees just slightly bent, now you're actually gonna stay in, you know, like a quarter lunge. So you're gonna be sort of staying in this lower position, which will work and activate your legs more. Right, and so you're gonna stay in this position, brace your core, row, exhale, and inhale. Exhale, and inhale. And of course, then you wanna switch legs and do the other leg, right? So again, much lower, whereas the first was just kind of up here, the first couple weeks. Now you're gonna be down here. Exhale. And if you notice my body is not upright, you actually do want to lean forward. You want to get used to the mechanical effect where your chest is over your front knee. A lot of gym, traditional gym lunges are upright like this, which is kind of rough on your front knee. So you want to make sure you get into the habit of having that chest over the front knee, like this. And exhale. Okay? So you go through those three exercises and Yep, those three exercises, and then you uh, rest, right, for the allocated time, and then repeat again. And the number of times that you repeat is dictated by, again, the weeks, not the program. And once you've done that, you're gonna go to the next three exercises. And so the first one is just straight lunges. Right, so I will demonstrate this forward and side view. So you want your hands on your hips like this, and this is you're gonna do an actual lunge. If you notice, my chest, again, goes to the front of the knee, and I come back up. Again, of course, we're assuming trunk racing is happening, just to give you a side view, right? So chest goes over the front without rounding my back. My back is still arched and neutral like this, and come back up, and you would just switch legs, right? So you would do however many repetitions that we specifies. So this position is the end position, and this is the beginning position. Again, most gym lunges are like this, and that's really, really rough on your front knee. And so we would wanna do this, and come back up. Or just think in life, if you had a lunge and get something, you have to do this anyway. You can't reach anything if you're too upright. You can't do anything. Right? So it's gonna be like this anyway. Right, so that's the first exercise of the lunge. You would do the specified number of repetitions. And then the next exercise is the forward back. Okay, 
So you're going to grab, again, the band from the bottom, just grab one for now, hook it onto the bottom of the door frame, and you're going to grab it like you're grabbing like a, like a baseball bat or a, you know, a stick like this. So whichever hand is farther away from you, that's going to be the side that you go towards. All right, so I'm going to demonstrate. I'm just going to stand with your knees soft, and you're going to chop back like this. All right, so this hand is doing the back fist, and this hand is doing it like an uppercut. That's why it's called the back fist uppercut. All right, so like this. Now if you notice my body's not moving, it is braced. All right, so you don't want that rotation of the body like this. I'm just going to go from straight here, back to this position. And again, you want to, you're pulling as you're exerting, so you exhale and inhale going forward. And then when you switch, you wanna switch your hands, right? So now my right hand's gonna be closer to me, my left hand is farther away, and you go to this side, right? Without the body position. Right, so that would be the second exercise. And then the third exercise is the forward lunge and shut down, got it. Okay, and so you've done this in the previous weeks where it's a forward chop down, and again, this time you're just gonna stay lower in that lunge position, right? The first time we did this, your knees were just kind of slightly bent, now you're going to stay in sort of this half lunge and exhale as you chop down, inhale as you chop up, right? And then you're just going to switch to the other side, exhale as you chop down, and inhale as you chop up, right? And so those are the three exercises that again, you rotate through and then rest and then repeat. Again, the number of cycles is dictated by which week that you're in, which will be specified on the page where this video is. Right? And so that's sort of the starting level, uh, level three exercises. And as you progress, again, the future workouts in the next couple of weeks will be more complex and more complex and more complex. More complex means more joints are moving for your brain to control. All right.